All right, guys, so uh, Rustin here with finepigtails.com, and uh, today we are going to go over our uh, five top sellers for our two pin connectors. So, everything here that we're showing you today is all two pin connectors. Um, so, in other words, the uh, connector has two cavities in it and two wires. So, sometimes you'll hear us refer to a connector as a 10 pin connector, but you might only have four wires in it. So, these connectors here today all two wires and two cavities, so there's two spots. Both spots are, would be full for uh, whatever your application is. Um, so let's kind of go over these one by one and uh, give you the basics of what they're used for. And so our first one we're gonna start with today, this is gonna be on our website. It's Z27C2 is our part number. And that is Z as in Zebra 27C2, if you wanna check this out. And actually, you probably have already seen this before. This is going to be a very common one used for uh, your front lamp stuff. So your low beam, high beam, or uh, not high beam, excuse me, but low beam and fog lamps, what I meant to say. Uh, Lexus, Toyotas, you're going to see this constantly. You'll see it on some Hondas too. Some of the older Hondas will have this. Um, and uh, again, very common. It actually will be used a lot of times two to four times on one car because if this is used for low beam and fog lamp, then of course you'll see it twice. So you may have, if you have a real bad collision, you might need all four, uh, or you might just need two on one side. So you need fog lamp and low beam. Something to keep in mind um, that, again, fog lamp, low beam on Lexus, uh, Toyotas, and then a lot of your uh, kind of mid 2000 Hondas, you'll see these also used quite a bit uh, for your fog lamps. Um, and sometimes low beam. And it is uh, it is pretty noticeable because it's got that black outer casing with the uh, green face. So it's uh, it's pretty obvious when you see it. There's a few other colors you'll see. Subarus use these also on fog lamps. Uh, but the Subaru version, it's gonna be a brown case with an orange face to it. Exact same connector, works just the same. It's just this is the version that we use. We don't get every different color. Uh, it's just easier to stock one of them because again, it's in, they're interchangeable, so you can use this for, for any of those. Everything's listed on the website, so if you pull up Z27C2 on the website, you'll see a, a list of the common ones that's lower down on the, on, the, uh, on the page, but it'll give you the basics of what it's used for, low beam, uh, fog lamp, things like that. And then if you're doing a vehicle search for a specific vehicle, uh, if it's used on that one, then it would be listed under there. And you can always chat with us, email us, if you ever have any questions, if you're not sure, if it happens to be the other colors. Uh, there is a black version, so it's got the black casing with a yellow face. That one's a little different, but we can actually make it work for you. So again, just reach out to us if you ever have any questions on that. Um, next one we would do, our part number, L42B2, and that is L as in Larry, 42B2. And uh, this one, again, on the website, you'll see this listed. This is going to be under a lot of Nissan Infinity stuff. Um, kind of same deal also. It's a uh, low beam and a uh, fog lamp for both. So you may have four of these on one car, depending on the situation. Um, most common, you know, Nissan Altima fog lamp, basically. And that's a very common car that I'm sure you all dealt with before. Uh, so whenever that front end collision happens, uh, you're going to see this one get knocked off most of the time. And um, there are some other styles that are close to this, uh, but it is different. Uh, there's a black outer casing with a gray face. That one, they're not interchangeable, so uh, just make sure you get the right one. But again, this is going to be your low beam and fog lamp for a lot of your Infinities and Nissans. Again, everything's listed on the website. Uh, we break it down under the actual vehicle filter, and then we also have kind of a basic generic what it's used for at the bottom of the page for this actual part. So it'll say, you know, Nissan fog lamp, Nissan low beam, infinity fog lamp, etc. So you can kind of see all those listings. The next one we'll do, uh, this is gonna be uh, B21, B2. And what this one's gonna be used for, again, back to uh, the most common thing on these cars that gets hit is low beam and fog lamp. So that's why you'd see these in our top five. So this one, you can see a little bit different style than the other two we just did. So this one doesn't have an outer casing on it. This one has your ears that catch. It has the rear little guide for your wires, but there's no actual shell. So it is open. There are a lot of aftermarket copies of these. Uh, ours are of course OE, 
Uh, so this plastic body is gonna be an exact fit. You're not gonna have to worry about it wearing out too soon. Um, Cause again, our stuff is not a copy. This is OE. Our wires are always the uh, upgraded higher temp wire. And then the terminals inside are of course uh, upgraded terminal from what you would see. The B21, B2 most common is gonna be GM uh, stuff. Some uh, Mopar, low beam fog lamp. And uh, you'll see it inside of some headlights it's to where you have the kind of a main case that covers it. Uh, and then you got to open it up. You'll see this kind of inside of there. Um, and then also just externally standard again for low beams and fog lamps. Uh, very common, a lot of GM stuff. Um, interestingly, uh, this it can work and looks very similar to uh, a fog lamp one that's used L43A2 for um, Kia and Hyundai, and they are basically interchangeable. They'll work a little bit different style, looks a little bit different, but they'll work all the same. And of course it has the seal, all of our stuff. Again, since it's an OE connector, it's gonna have all your seals. It'll be watertight, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So that's B21, B2. And actually what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna show y'all L43 A2. And this is another very popular one. It helps if I grab the right one here. An L43 A2, you can kind of see very similar. Let me grab them together here. It's a very similar design. It's just this one here is going to be strictly for Kia Hyundai if you were going with the exact factory replacement. And we list all this stuff under the vehicle filter. So if you have a car you're looking for a part on, just use our vehicle filter and it'll get you for it. If you don't see something, again, like always, just email us, chat with us. The chat's right there on the website. We respond very fast. So that's L43A2, the other common one, low beam fog lamp for Honda Kia stuff, but it kind of interchangeable with uh, B21, B2, just because the design that they do, they kind of keep them pretty similar. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, this is A31A2. This is kind of going towards the Honda Kia stuff. Um, this is gonna be most common for the uh, variable intake solenoid, the VIS solenoid on uh, Hondas and stuff. Um, it's a little round cylinder right up by the intake. A lot of people mistake it for the uh, EGR, but a little round cylinder, kind of a flat top to it. This is it. Variable intake solenoid, VIS solenoid again, kind of the short version. And um, so that's mostly what this is used for. It's also keyless antennas, um, some lamp stuff but uh, the majority of these go out the door from here because of that variable intake solenoid. And uh, there's uh, some Ford versions that are a little bit larger than these, so you have to be careful sometimes if you're matching them up uh, just by looking at pictures. Um, so always best thing is use our vehicle filters uh, or from there just chat with us, snap a pic, get it to us and we can match it for you off the pic. But um, A31, A2, like I said, anytime those Hondas are in a front end collision, pretty much guaranteed that the variable intake solenoid gets knocked off just because of where it's positioned on that car. Uh, so again, very common one for us. This next one, this is L64A2. And this is probably familiar to a lot of y'all. And this is gonna be on Mopars is a huge one. And then a lot of Mercedes, of course. Um, so you're gonna see this as the side marker and this is uh, probably the most sold for side marker for Chryslers. Um, it doesn't mean it's the one you need, but it's definitely the one that's used a lot. Again, back to using our vehicle filter to kind of narrow down exactly what you need or the chat, chat with us. And uh, Mercedes will use it for fog lamp or DRL. You can almost give them interchangeable terms since they're in the same area, but some vehicles only have one or some vehicles will have a fog and a DRL. So you just wanna be sure that you look at the one on your car and compare it to this one just to make sure it's correct. Uh, but it's side marker, actually even a rear side marker on a uh, lot of Chrysler stuff also. So you can always uh, look on the good side of the vehicle if yours is gone to uh, see if that's what you're needing. There's some other ones that are pretty similar in design that you have probably seen before. One thing you always wanna look out for on these, and uh, let me grab something to kind of show you here. So you'll see this little guide right here and some of them, the guide is actually over and shifted. So they can work in place of the other one. Um, you just have to, you'd have to kind of knock out the little section right here. It's pretty easy. It's real little shallow 
ridge right there. Uh, so if you ever have one that's over and you end up with this one, or you happen to just have this one lying around, you could use that uh, or order it from us. We do have some universal ones also, but again, if you know what you need, if it's side marker for a Chrysler, then bam, this pretty much is guaranteed to be it. Just uh, again, match that picture up with what we show you and uh, you should be good to go. All these connectors, everything we sell, we source it. We're gonna source the OE part. So we're not gonna do any kind of copies. Everything's exact fits. All our wires, we have some videos on the website showing the uh, wire demos where we burn it with a torch, kind of showing you how high temp the wire is compared to factory wire or the, more importantly, the cheaper connectors that are out there that are sold. The wire on those will flame up real fast. So all of our wire is the high temp wire. Terminals are all the upgraded, typically silver plated. And then um, all the connector bodies are all the OE body, OE seals. So everything's gonna seal up, be watertight. Something else we do, since we are putting them together, on our seals on the back, because water tightness is important, and you have to excuse me, these aren't perfect, I kind of just threw this in there real quick for the video, but what we want is when it's in, it's gonna be snug, so as that seal goes in, it kind of pushes it down. These are longer seals, so they have a little bit of part of it that sticks out. I'll show you this one. So those are down in there. and. You can't really tell necessarily from watching, but when you put the wire in, you'll, you can tell that the seal's compressed and that just helps with the water tightness. What you don't want ever if you're driving through uh, you know, high water or uh, washing your vehicle, water does get splashed up in your engine bay. The worst thing that could happen, and it does happen with cheaper connectors, is water ends up penetrating through the back of that connector uh, and will short out stuff. So especially cars nowadays with the computers as sensitive as they are, uh, we've seen that a lot car gets washed down, engine bay washed down, uh, it, it can throw lots of codes and cause lots of problems. So all of our stuff, upgraded wires, seals, terminals, and then OE bodies, so we know that it's an exact fit every time. So that's it guys, that was the uh, top five two pin connectors uh, that we sell on the website, findpigtails.com. Thanks.